Hello, hello, electronic music friend. In this video, I'm going to discuss what benefits I have found myself when starting to practice how to play the keyboard for making electronic music. We will also discuss the, the benefits, the issues in electronic music making, and also I'll show you how you can start practicing an instrument today. So let's let's get started. After a few years of, of playing the three biggest benefits I, I see are the, the musicianship, ability to compose and the productivity. Musicianship is the general understanding and ability to, to comprehend the, the music and while you are practicing to play you will learn and copy the, the music, the note sequences, the chord progressions, the rhythms that you come across. And this way, the electronic music that you are making will actually sound like music. Compositional point is that you are better able to create ideas from the scratch or derive them from thin air and these ideas and creativity and knowledge will help you to, to solve issues you may, you may fall into. For example, if you develop a piece of music, you may end up in a situation that you don't know how to continue what you could add in a musical way. And, and then this, this knowledge will help you to find the next, next step or next note or next chord. While it's totally possible to, to tinker with the notes and try to find something that, that sounds good, the bottom line is that, that you don't have a lot of time in the end if you need to achieve to, to create a track and then move on to the next, next track. You need to be able to work efficiently and if, if you don't have understanding or zero skills playing the, the instrument, then the others out there, they are, they are doing it and you are kind of falling behind. To illustrate the issue, let's create a short melody just by using the mouse. We could write in the key of C something like C, D, F, let's say we have, we have A and to make the rhythm a bit more interesting we can shorten the notes Let's add a couple of more notes to make this melody or riff a bit longer probably try to write some melodies by using the mouse only and while it's totally possible to come up with great sounding melody, melody lines it's slower and more difficult than what it needs to be so if you were able to play an instrument it would be easier for you to just drop in the notes and move on. I think the perfect analogy would be writing a letter or writing a book. Did you ever heard anyone who would have written a letter or book by trying to guess words letter by letter, just picking up letters like notes and trying to trying to come up with something meaningful like like this we could keep on trying letters and after a while we 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 might we may come up with something that actually means means something and it it makes sense or alternatively since we know how to write, we could just simply 
pick up the letters that match with the message we want to put down, like this. Really easy. So, same way, when you practice to play an instrument, it gives you a tool to express what you want to say. You can learn to play any instrument that you want, but probably one of the most obvious pickup or selection for us as electronic music makers is, is the keyboard or synthesizer, which has the key, keys layout similar to the piano rolls in the digital audio workstations. If you're starting from, from the scratch, you would probably need to find a teacher or have a notes or books or look for an application something like musician that has a built-in learning learning path here's how the user interface for musician looks like there's a learning path that starts from the scratch but you can directly jump to a level that matches with with your skills and there are levels starting from one up to nine so everybody will find something that's of challenge enough. I'll show you how this practicing works and we will go for something relatively simple. Let's choose three chord songs and one of my favorites here used to be this city life workout. This little song is split in three parts so Let's play the first one. You should really start learning the notes when when you start, but if you're intimidated, there's an option to choose another mode for showing the notation, and this way it may be easier to get into play. You will quickly learn the basic chords and you can immediately start taking advantage of them by playing and utilizing those chords and melodies in your music making. Let's try to record, for example, these chords C, E minor and A minor into the door. Quantize tool can help us to put the notes exactly in the point of time where they belong and even if our performance wasn't perfect it was much easier easier to enter the, the notes. Same way when we are adding more tracks when you know your chords inside out it's much more easier to work out what needs to be fixed and how it can be fixed. In this video we have discussed the benefits of practicing an instrument in the context of making electronic music and I show some issues that 
Act. You are probably familiar with this. And also we looked into how, how those issues could be solved if, if you know how to, how to play. Of course, this depends on the level where you want to create music. If it's just for your own hobby, just for yourself, it's totally fine to just keep on using the mouse and keyboard. But if you are serious on making your music better and improving your, your songs, then I think it's definitely useful to, to start practicing or keep on practicing if you are already doing so. Many thanks for watching and hope these ideas gave some food for, for thought. Bye!